1912, the year that marks the sinking of the Titanic, the debut of the Oreo cookie, just look it up, and also one of the most puzzling and notorious murders in Iowa history. Today marks 100 years since the Oliska Axe murder. A century-old unsolved axe murder, eight people hacked to death, has intrigued 21st century forensic scientists and investigators around the world. Okay, I think I just saw something move behind the camera. If this is Lena or Ina, please let me know you're in here. Lena? Ina? Hello? And finally, we reached the number one most haunted place in America. I've been a paranormal oh. investigator for about 11 years. Up to that point, I did the most gruesome, terrifying unsolved murders of the 20th century. Too early to start celebrating? Have a beer inside. Come on, man. It's your last day of school. Ever! Danny. Yo. This town blows, man. <laughs> Tell me about it, dude. You don't know. Yeah, I know. You don't know. Danny, I will not miss your cryptic bullshit. What are you talking about? You love my cryptic yeah, bullshit. <laughs> it's like one of my major features. Oh, no, you did yeah. not. Oh. Look who's here. Everybody's favorite faggot. <laughs> Why don't you back off, Connor? Yeah, I'm not talking to you, freak. God, I haven't seen you since what, last summer, buddy? Underneath the bleachers, remember? You had Jerry Fletcher's dick in your mouth. Fucking psycho. It's like your old man. Oh, again, oh. hit me. Come on, do it. Stop. Shut up and back up. Do you want me to call your dad again? No, ma'am. And Dennis, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Mrs. Flanks. I just thought it'd be nice to give Caleb a ride on his last day. 
I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> Fuck you, Connor. Not one more word. It's a nice sentiment, Dennis. But would you please take your little bike and get off my campus? Sure thing, Miss Fike. Better go. Hey, buddy. Boys, the gymnasium is this way. Why don't we all go together? You have to see this. I know. I heard about it all last week. So excited. Excited? You know what I mean. I do. I bookmarked it. <laughs> Hi, bitch. 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 Hi, Hey. What do you want, Rob? Connor wants to talk to you. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Everybody knows you're gonna come crawling back. Slut. What do you want? Nothing, man. <laughs> Such a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, did you see what I wrote on our locker? Know, man. It's right here. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh shit! He started it! Go to the nurse. You, in my office. <laughs> now. Come on. Quick time. Sorry about that. Don't be. Kid's a jerk. I told you if you just focused, you'd be in and out of here by the end of the month. Any plans? I'm leaving for Omaha tomorrow. My uncle owns a motel, said I could have a job if I had this. Well, listen, before you take off, I'd like to have a little chat with you. I know this has been a difficult time for you and your mom. But, Caleb, when you walk out that door, there's nothing else I can do for you. I wasn't expecting you to. That's not what I meant, Caleb. I know you're a smart kid. But life is about the choices we make. And we have to do our best to make the good ones. Otherwise, we get stuck living in the bad ones.
Let me know how it goes in Omaha. Today is a pretty exciting day for me. For the final outing of the Maryville Paranormal Institute, we will be visiting the boss fight of Ghost Houses, Velisca. As always, I will be joined by my best friend and fellow ghost hunter, Caleb. Countdown begins now. Tonight, the Velisca Axe Murder House. Love you, man. You gotta know, Jess. In a couple of months, all this shit's gonna go away. It's already been a couple of months, Ellie. And today, while I was at school, two girls were watching it again. God, I hate this place. I miss you guys. I miss Chicago. Get your ass back here. Stop hanging out with farmers. <laughs> uh... You know, actually, this kind of cool thing did happen today at school. Yeah? So Rob came up to me today and was like, Connor wants to talk to you. And I just walked away, and he was yelling all this mean shit at me. Oh. And then this other kid, I think his name is Caleb, he went up to Rob and just slammed his face into the locker. What? <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. OK, uh, what's his last name? Um, Hirsch. Hirsch. What? How did you? Facebook geographic search. Perfect for stalking. Oh my god, you're creepy. Wait a minute. What? He's got his address on Facebook. And? Go! <laughs> no, Ellie. Look, at least go tell him to take his fucking address off Facebook. <sighs> Jess, you are a Chicago woman. <laughs> Do this, bitch. <sighs> Come on! Okay. okay, 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 fine, whatever. I'll go to his house. <laughs> but if I get murdered, it's totally your fault. Oh, please. Nothing ever happens in Iowa. Give me that. You can take that. Brooks Brothers. Where'd you get a Brooks Brothers shirt? Not this one. No. As what time are you leaving tomorrow? I don't know, about noon. Greyhound. Awesome. <laughs> what, riding the bus? No, seriously. Going someplace else, getting out of here. It's awesome. What's up? Nothing. Danny. Nothing. I mean, it's like two hours away. You can visit anytime you want. Oh shit! We gotta move. For what? The tour. Dude, <laughs> no. Yeah. We've been planning this Look for like this. two Look months, my dude. dude. Maryville no Paranormal way. Institute. We're not even close. The Baliska Axe Murder House. Last Dang. video, big finish. No. You promised. You promised something back last night instead. We got drunk, so. Well, me and your high school equivalency, this isn't even a real diploma. What are you, what, what are you doing? We're going to Baliska. No, no, no. Oh, no, did don't, I rip? Don't, oh, don't, don't, you... don't. Hey. Am I interrupting something? Hey. Your name is Jessica, right? This is Denny. Yeah. We gotta go, dude. We're gonna miss our tour. Where are you guys going? Somewhere you're not. You want to come? Are you sure? I mean, it seems like you guys have it all figured out. Uh, yeah, yeah, Caleb, we don't have room for her on the scooter. I can drive. Great, let me give me a jacket. Caleb, what the fuck, man? I only made reservations for two people. Dude, you're not going to give a shit. We bring one more person. Use your brain. I like your jacket. Yeah, I know. That's why I wear it. Okay, let's go. Here. He doesn't have a license. Then drive carefully. Okay. 
Come on, Danny. It's the way to Velisca. Shotgun. This is a nice car. Isn't that like a sinus medication? What? You know what I'm talking about? The axe murder house. <laughs> Everyone knows what that is. But not from here. Well, I guess that's something that's good about you. Dude! 74 views on our last video! Try me here. Oh. What is he talking about? We do this video channel, YouTube channel thing with Supernatural. MPI, we are the no, Maryville no, Paranormal Institute. Telling the story. I got it. Telling Caleb the story, right? and I are no, the Maryville. No, no. We're ghost hunters. We're ghost hunters. Hunt ghosts. Yeah. He can be a little intense about it. No, it's, <laughs> it's cool. everybody they're all dead <laughs> oh. I'm kind of not joking back in the day there was this Indian tribe here and they called this area Wallaska they used to bury their outcasts and their insane in shallow graves here so they couldn't move on you mean like that movie poltergeist little girl broken TV but this is something different Jess Eight people, six of them kids, got their heads smashed in in 1912. Are you Denny? Yes, sir. <laughs> I was just about to give up and go. Well, I'm so glad he didn't. We, we drove all the way from Maryville. Nice house. All right. Welcome to the Valeska Axe Murder House. This is the uh, foyer. <laughs> OK, so the murders took place on the night of June 9th, 1912. There'd been a big gathering at the Presbyterian Church in town. They called it Children's Day. Ever since then, this house has been marked by an evil greater than you can imagine. People just like you have seen and heard. Um, young lady, this way. Everything will make more sense if we start the tour from upstairs. Come on. It's believed the killer entered the house around midnight, climbed these very stairs. All right, this way. <coughs> J.B. Moore was the first to get it. Ah! 
And then his wife, Sarah. Mrs. Moore was hit 35 times in the top of her head with the blunt side of the ax. <laughs> Toad's cray balls. I beg your pardon? Let's uh, go to the children's room. It's right down this way. Come on. Follow me. Herman was the oldest child. He was 11. Paul was the youngest. He was only four. And Boyd was the middle. Little Catherine Moore's room was right over here. All but one of the victims were found flat against their bed. Why is the mirror covered? Well, they found all the mirrors covered that way the next day. The thought is that the murderer wanted to cover him up before he began to kill. <sighs> hey, they caught the killer, right? No. But there was this one guy, a traveling Presbyterian minister. He confessed, but was never convicted. Reverend Lynn George Jacqueline Kelly. I did my research. We come to places like this all the time. In his confession, Kelly stated that he woke up in the middle of the night hearing windmills in his head. And then he went for a walk and ended up here. OK, <laughs> thanks. I'll just put this back. <clears throat> what happened to him? But you guys want to see something super cool? Huh. We have the murder weapon right here. Come on. That, my friends, is the actual axe itself. A one-of-a-kind piece of bloody Iowan history and genuine American craftsmanship. OK, right this way. Caleb, let me see your teeth. Ah! <laughs> oh, murder boner. This is where Lena and Ina Stillinger died. They had been guests of the Moors that night, due to what happened to the power. The power? Yeah. The electricity in the whole town went out the night of the murders. True story. That's how the Stillinger girls ended up here. She was found in the center of the room. Her underwear had been removed, and very bad things had been done to her. Let's go back to the foyer. <laughs> You guys excited about Halloween? We have a big event here this year, real moneymaker. I think this is gonna be our biggest year yet. Shouldn't be in here. Let go of me! Didn't you see the ropes? Are you blind? This room is hey, off hey, limits! Hey, 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 what's your problem? Did you touch anything? Are you serious? Uh, all right, look, guys, show's over. Let's go. Okay, Please, okay. okay. That's the end of the tour.
tour was kind of lame. You know, these things are all hype anyways. No, we just didn't see the whole thing. We didn't see the bloody clothes. We didn't see the children's day mask. We didn't even get to go in the cellar, which apparently they take you down there, and apparently it's fucking awesome. Probably a shitload of other stuff, too. Look, Danny, we can come back some other time. Did you really just say that? Why'd you jump the ropes? I heard something. Really? Yeah. It was like the sound of an old record player or something. Are you fucking with me? That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, well then Grandma Death popped out and scared the shit oh, out yeah, of me, she so... Yeah, she gave you, like, lazy eye. Oh, scary, my man. God. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess we should get back to Maryville. Finish packing. Well, maybe we could take our own tour. Later tonight? What? Yeah, we can fucking break in. I mean, I didn't see any alarm system, did you? No. It's not that hard. My friends and I used to break into empty houses and have parties all the time. Really? Yeah, most places are pretty easy to break into. And I bet these two fucking wackos aren't coming back here tonight. I mean, where would they sleep with the mannequins? I mean, it is kind of the toy you always wanted, Danny. Yes. Now we just have to wait until it gets dark. Holy shit. Cool. Ladies first. Follow me. Out. <clears throat> I'm going upstairs. Okay.
Uh, I survived the Felisca Ox murder house. <laughs> when they come up with this shit. Oh. Oh, th yeah. thanks. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. You know, they added that part in 1954. Which part? Under God. Oh. And who were we under before that? I don't know. Maybe we should ask the Moors. Ooh. Nice. No, um, I, I want to mess with it first. What are you doing? I'm going to post it to Instagram, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hi, Denny. What's up, man? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Are you coming upstairs? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are I, you I, talking I, about? I heard Shelly. Oh, fuck Shelly. She said your dick was so small that she had to suck her in the straw. Yeah, to <laughs> suck the cum all off. Fucking every oh, what? 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 Are you what? sure this is pot? It's top quality. I got it from Shelly. <laughs> Cherry flavor. <laughs> oh, shit. No way. Jess, she uploaded a pic. Oh, yeah? What kind of pic? <laughs> like, kind of like one of those videos I put out <laughs> Oh, shit. She's with Caleb. They're at that house in Villisca. Oh, she's on a ghost tour? Sad, man. You want to go check it out? Not really. Shut up. Ow! Fuck! You got unfinished business with that piece of shit. Freakers out there, I'm Denny Shea, inside the world-famous Felisca Axe murder house, investigating into the possibility of, yeah, ghosts. Of course, I'm joined by Maryville Paranormal Institute co-founder, Caleb Hirsch, and our newest friend. As you can see, Jess is extremely overwhelmed by the intense spectral energies flowing through this house. Let's cut to the chase. Dousing rods, candles, everything you might need to light this place up. Notice the concentration, intensity on her beautiful young face. She wants to know what we all do. Where are the children? <laughs> you should ask something. Come on. Ghost people? You want 
to pull my finger? <laughs> Dude, it's supposed to be serious. No, it's supposed to be fun. Denny. Oh. Okay, let me try. Okay. Uh, you I ask you a yes or no question. For these to work, you have to hold these very still. I'm trying. I know, so get it right. Okay. Okay. Let's try to talk to Lena. Lena? My name's Jessica. Don't be afraid. We know something really bad happened to you here, but we're not gonna hurt you. Are you there? How much did you pay for these? The rods are fine. You're doing it wrong. No, I'm not. Don't blame her because your little ghost toys are broken. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. You All stay right, out of just... it, okay? You're not even supposed to be here tonight. Sorry I crashed your date. Fuck you. At least I know how to keep my pants on. Excuse me? Danny. Enough. What? Why are you being so protective of Sticky Fingers over here? Was her bullshit video so special? Yeah, even the homos of Maryville know all about your sad, tragic story. You fucking asshole! I haven't even told my parents. Are you worried about what your parents think? Of course. Mine are dead. Yeah. Diesel jackknifed on I-80. Hit us in the back, car flipped over, caught on fire. My mom had to push me out the back window. Lucky fucking me. Yeah, she gets the story, Danny. We get the story, your parents are fucking dead. What? It wasn't your fault. Kid. Shut up. Danny! What the fuck is happening, man? We all fucked up. He made you go with him. Caleb, shut up, Danny. You gotta listen to me. Get up! Your dad was messed up. Shut the fuck up, Denny! You think you know anything about my fucking dad? You're fucking clueless! He was. This is bullshit. Get up. Shit, what is that? It's a mannequin.
Annie, come here. Is that Connor's car? What is he doing here? Yes. I'm so sick of that asshole. You coming? Dude, just hang here a sec. Sorry I slapped you. What was that? I gotta go. Wait. Can you stay here? Kayla? Jess. Register now. All right, Dad. Just be careful with. The Shut up. Oh fuck! You guys gotta leave. Put it down. Wait. I know you, Caleb. 
Is this a fucking joke? <laughs> Lena, I will be your shepherd always. Reverend Kelly. Danny? There you are. What happened? Caleb? What? Did you find anyone? No. What are you doing with a machete? You're gonna kill him? I'm sick. You're following me around like a lost little puppy. You need to find a new reason to get out of bed in the morning, Denny. Because I'm done with you. Well, what? I get it. You're into me. You're fucking retarded. No, I don't think so. I've known you for six years, Caleb. Have I ever done anything to you? 
Now, when you're drunk or lonely or when the cops come to my house and I lied to them and told them you were there all night, I'm out of here. But everybody lies. Nothing is safe. Jess? Jess? Jess, fuck. We gotta go. Come here. Connor is inside the house. We gotta find Caleb. What do you do? Jenny, no. It's better to stay here. It's safe. Jess, please. Shh. <laughs> You can pretend that I'm in. Mm -hmm. You must miss her terribly, don't you? Oh, you see, Dennis? We're only trying to help you. <laughs> we can take you to her, Dennis! Where are you going in such a hurry? I don't, I don't, Jess is... You're all shaking up. Oh. Are you okay? Hey, Denny, I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I never did get a chance to thank you for what you did for me. You know, I'd be in prison if it wasn't for you, right? Hey. No, man, it's hey, okay. Hey, we hey, gotta go. Hey, it's, it's not... It's that's not okay. important it's gonna right be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. You're an excellent kisser. Every time I saw you in school, I imagined bashing your face in with a hammer. Why do you hate me so much? Because you exist.
Well, look at you. All cleaned up after today's festivities. I brought you a sweet. This. Ah! this is in you! This is who you are! You must accept this! He's doing fucking steps, man! No! No! This is who you are. There will be beauty here now. Your father would be so proud. <sighs> I missed you so much. And I missed you too, Dennis. We can be together again.
Listen to me, listen to me. Come on, we gotta go. No, no, listen, you, you guys were never here. What do you mean? We gotta go. No, man. No, we're we're not leaving you, Caleb. They, they need a reason not to come looking for all of us. Caleb. Caleb. Come on, Daddy. Caleb, come on. Just help me. Come on. Come on, Jess. Let's go. Wait. There's nothing. 